So I want to do another quick short video here to talk about um, an effect and how I did it. Um, it's based on a video I saw sometime a few years ago and I lost it. And so I want to post this for some of you that might be thinking the same thing on how to do it. And I got it to work. So one thing about using a motor and you know a rotating arm, as you, most of you will know, is that the motion never stops. And as you can see here, I've got it now where it actually stays closed for right there a good period of time and then opens and then it hangs there a little bit. And there's a way to do it and I'm going to cut here and show you how um, I did it. Okay, so here it is. So what you can see is the bar that comes off the motor there and then goes to whatever it's moving has a slot in it. It's, it's really simple. And like I said, I saw it once before in a video, but I couldn't remember, I couldn't find the video, I couldn't figure out, I had to play with this a little bit because you have to first know what the length of the bar needs to be just if you were not going to have the slot, which mine was 11 inches. And so what I did was, there's a little bit of calculations. I wanted a two, almost a three inch gap, or you can see right there where it's cut out. So to do that, you actually have to increase the bar that's attached to your motor by an inch and a half. That all makes sense because it's actually throwing forward an inch and a half, and then it's coming back another inch and a half, so that he ends up being three inches more. That all makes sense. But the you guys can kind of play with it. The thing I wanted to show you was it actually works. Now, to make it work, though, too, one of the last things is you have to have some kind of momentum on the front side, which this does because the weight, so it leans forward. So you can see right here as the bar pushes it forward, the weight of it is actually shoving it forward because the bar itself has the, the cutout, so it's not going to shove it any further. But the weight of my prop here moves it all the way forward on the gap, which is great. And then when it comes back, it needs something to kind of hold it for a second. And my simple solution was just you know, me and rubber bands. So it's just a rubber band right there. It just kind of pulls it back a little bit and sets it. and. Um, so again, the best thing that this does is it stops that effect of everything continually in motion. And my, my effect, like a, if you look at the beginning of the video, which I'll, I'll cut again, is to get the effect of the pumpkin head actually being closed for a period of time before it reopens. So now you can see, now that I've shown you, I'll do it one more time. So you can see that it sits open for a second but mainly right when it closes, see it sits there for a good little amount of time before it opens again. And I'm still working on trying to slow the motor down. I've got about an eight RPM right now and I'd really like to have it be closer to five, but again, I think I mentioned in an earlier video is when I use a PMV, it try to slow it down too much, the motor uh, stops. So I'm gonna actually go to a, this is a 12 volt, power supply. I'm going to try their 5 volt power supply and see if I can get it down to where I really want like a 4 or 5 um, RPM.